A couple of weeks ago, I did a video on a new feature available inside of Meta Ads Manager called Site Links. This is a great opportunity to increase those click-through rates and make your ads pop a little bit more. But now there's an update to that same brand new feature. So let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, so first let's actually just kind of remind ourselves what site links are in the first place. So site links are additional links that will appear at the bottom of your ad, right? So obviously your typical ad, you got your image or your video and you're sending them to some type of opt-in page, sales page, whatever it might be. But now you can kind of direct them in a couple of different ways with these site links. So let's go ahead and do this right here. So I'm gonna just do this one about, and then I'm gonna grab the URL of my about page paste it right in there, add, and then blog. This is assuming that I would want to be sending people to all these pages. In this case, I actually wouldn't do this, but again, this is just for purposes of an example. And then resources, perfect resources. All right, there we go. So we have my about and then the blog and then the resources page. So I'm gonna go ahead and click save and you can start to see what this looks like down here. So there are the buttons. As a reminder, as of right now, these only appear on Facebook. They don't appear on Instagram, but they certainly could do so uh, in the future right there. So they can click on the main link or image for my ad or they can visit any of these pages right here. So obviously if you are an e-commerce website, there's lots of opportunities here. If you're selling baseball bats, you can also have links to baseball gloves, baseball hats, baseballs themselves, and all that kind of stuff. If you are more so a service-based business or an online-based business, I still think that you don't want to be sending people to all sorts of links. That'll be very distracting. You want to keep things focused. And in my previous video talking about site links, I go into deep detail what to do if you are in that sector. So make sure you check that video out, which you can check out in the corner right now. But what is the actual update right here? So if we look at the actual site links, yes, they appear and they can, you know, click on those and they make your ad a little bit more prominent they don't stand out too too much right you could someone could actually mistake these for just being an additional sub headline right so here right it just says home elver barrows digital i would never actually make that my headline but again this is just an example and then below that about blog resources it's very easy to just mistake that I'd be like oh that's just kind of additional content they have right there now you can actually add images to the site link so let's go ahead and take a look at a live example right here so here we are with another account and we can see here what that actually looks like. So when you have site links with bigger names than the one I already came up with with my example, you can actually scroll across these. There has to be a minimum of three. So if you think, you know, if you have, you know, three, four, five, six of these, a lot of scrolling can be done right here. But in order to make them stand out, now there are images as opposed to just having the actual text right there. And so when there's an image accompanied next to the site link, it makes it more prominent. It makes it more obvious. It, your eyes are going to be more drawn to it and people are more likely to click on it. So how how do we actually go about this? Well, it's actually really simple. So let's go back to this example here to the one I was doing for my account. I'm going to go ahead and edit. And if I hover over the actual site link for each and every single one, I am going to get the prompt to upload an image right there. So I can click on upload. I actually don't have anything ready right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click cancel right there. I'll download something in just a second to show you. So that is how you go about doing that. Now, the question that's probably popping up for you right now is like, okay, great. Well, what are the parameters for these images? You know, what size, what style, all that kind of stuff. Well, I will say it is early days, so I can't really give you very strong trick guidelines, but a couple things just to, that will be obvious right off the bat. One, if you're an e-commerce website and you're sending people to multiple products, then just have an image of the product. If you are a service-based business or an online-based business, then what you want to do or what you can do is utilize Canva to create logos or graphics or images, anything like that. So let me go show you how I've been doing that. All right, so here we are in Canva. So these are some examples that we actually just saw on the previous page. These are the real ones that I actually ended up uploading. And so you can see it right here. So it's very simple. I'm using a one by one aspect ratio format. So Instagram format right here. And then I'm just doing a search for an element that makes sense. So for the ad that we just saw, I have what you're going to learn, frequently asked questions, and then testimonials. And so these are kind of the best graphics images that they actually supplied. So Let's just do another example right here. I can just go to elements and I'll talk about learn. 
And so these are the ones I am talking about right here, the graphics at the top. I go ahead and click see all, and then I can see all the options that are available to me right here. So a couple of guidelines right off the bat for this. You don't want to pick the ones that are mostly line based, like they're not filled in with some kind of color, right? So these, this one right here is a great example, right? This is just lines. It's not filled in with any kind of color and it's not going to stand out. If we actually go back and look at uh, the actual image right here of what these look like, it's a very small image as you can see right here, right? So if you have some sort of line based graphic, it's not going to pop. It's going to be very subtle, which is obviously not something that we want. So you want something that's actually filled in kind of like this one right here right the body of you know this this person is filled in the hat all that kind of stuff right so this this one would be another good option right here because the light bulb is filled in i would not use this light bulb because this is just lines right here and again it's not going to stand out very much you want to make sure you are selecting graphics that actually pop up more you can go with color as well color will obviously pop out very well as long as it kind of fits the style that you're trying to go for and whatnot so let me go ahead and download one of these let me just do this right here download so gonna, actually no let me let me download a brand new one so let me go back to this one i'm gonna use the same background right there and then i had a one for my blog so let's do blog icon all right, so I want a filled in one. Like I said, I don't want line based. These are all line based right here. And I'm sure people who are actually in the graphic design world are probably cringing at my terminology right now. So I apologize. Here we go. So this is this one's filled in the actual blog image. Let me make this a little bit bigger right here. Make sure I center it. And obviously, in this case, I want to switch this to white because it doesn't look good uh, with the blue background when it, the icon is black. So let me go ahead and change this to blog. And then I'm going to download this. All right, so that has been downloaded. Now I can go back over here to my account. There's the blog one. Upload image, blog, open, and voila. So I can see the actual thumbnail for the site link right there. Again, here is a more complete version. If I actually go click on the edit button for this, if I hover each and every single one of these, you can go and set and see the thumbnail that has been chosen for all of these right here. All right, and there you have it. So if you're not using the site link feature just yet, definitely start doing it. So we've had some good success with it. Now, one thing I do want to make very clear, if your ads are performing very poorly, I don't want you to look at this as a solution that's gonna suddenly fix your ads, right? It's going to give you a slight boost in click-through rates, but if you're having this severe bad results, really bad results, this is not going to turn things around. But if you're on the edge, like if you're like just breaking even, you need just a little bit of a boost in order to start seeing some positive results, this certainly can be that feature to give you, uh, get you over that line and start getting some positive results. Like I said, if you're not using this, definitely start using it and definitely start adding the thumbnail feature that is now available. As always, if you have any questions about this topic or any other topic that I cover on this channel, just go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you next time.